dear viewers, welcome to our channel for Tech Talks. I'm Anne-Marie. And I am Tim. And we are engineers with the technical support of Penta Hoffmans in the Netherlands. And today we would like to Tech Talk on how to check and calibrate the galtimeters having the selective oxygen measurement type CDGM and ODGM. The galtimeters with oxygen sensor measure dissolved oxygen in carbonated and non-carbonated products like beer beverages, but also in deaerated water. And this selective oxygen sensor also measures the oxygen in a gas, like it is capable to measure the purity of a CO2 gas. The sensors show a slight wear. After 1 million exposures, a calibration warning will show up as a triangle in the display. Also, it is advised to control and check once a year the oxygen on calibration drift. So we advise to at least check on zero point. So what kind of tools do we need? Well, we need certified calibration gases like Nitrogen class 5, which means 99.999% purity and thus almost having no oxygen, less than 10 ppm. And when also calibrate the high point, you will need a gas containing 1% oxygen or 4% with an accuracy better than plus or minus 1%. You also need a flow meter. With a flow meter you are able to regulate a flow of 0.5 liters a minute, equal to 30 liters an hour. A coupling the fit to the inlet of the galter meter and is suitable to connect the gas hose. Like this. When, ca when a calibration is needed, we also need to know today's atmospheric pressure. So a barometer like our own precision gauge or check your today's weather online. Often the meter is filled with liquid or water, so we need to empty the meter first. Open the throttle valve, just open enough to avoid gas pressure is building up in the meter. Then we switch on the meter by pressing the enter key for three seconds and enter once again to get access into the main menu. Then we navigate to the calibration menu and further on to the service screen where we can read the actual values. First, let's start to check the zero point. For checking the O2, flush it with zero gas and check if the O2 value does react and goes down below 5 ppb. Check if the phase is higher, higher than 65 and the amplitude is higher than 5000. When phase and amplitude are okay, but the PPB does not go down 5, then try if this can be fixed with a correct new calibration. No, now we have connect zero gas to it, so the actual value in the meter must be read 0, 0.0. When the sensor is recalibrated, we need to work more precise mean that the instrument and the calibration gases have the same temperature. So leave them best for two or three hours in the same room, depending on what kind of temperature you begin with. Also important is that the oxygen sensor block is flushed to dry. To spare your calibration gas, it's also possible to connect it with your compressed, clean, oil-free air for 15 minutes. Then you connect and open the meter to your calibration gas. We change the medium from liquid to gas medium and your measuring unit to percentage. Then purge with the zero gas using a low flow of 0 0.5 liters a minute. Use a pur purge time from at least five minutes or so. Check if especially the amplitude becomes stable and does not increase anymore. After that you can start calibration. Adjust to today's atmospheric pressure and calibrate the low, low point on 0.0%. After that connect the high point calibration gas. Again purge for approach 5 minutes. 
on low flow and check if the amplitude finally stays stable and calibrate on 1%. After measuring the high percentage we flow to below and when he asks for change constants we fill in no because constants were not changed. He also asked was the oxygen sensor replaced but we choose for no either because we have not replaced the oxygen sensor. Do not forget to store the calibration. Check the recalibration. We check also this new calibration again through the service screen. Where the actual values are shown. And if 1% is within 1.01 and 0.99% accuracy range, connect the zero gas and check if, the sh if it is shown 0.0%. After calibration, do not forget to put the adjustments back to liquid medium and change and your measuring unit, like PPB unit. Thank you very much for watching us and we hope you enjoyed and found it useful showing you how to make a calibration oxygen check and recalibrate it when, when needed. A good oxygen sensor will result in to obtain good and reliable dissolved or gas oxygen measurements. When you have questions left, please contact us via the link with this video. And when you want to see more of us, browse for more videos with our Tech Talk channel. Bye and don't forget to like us.